Hello, my YouTube friends. It's me, your old buddy Magnum, over here at Magnum Videos. And I wanted to bring you a kind of a channel update, so to speak. Let me begin by telling you, for those of you who don't know me that well, I was a graphic artist for many years. And then I got into the printing business and uh, we owned a printing company for about 25 years. And quality was uh, one of the reasons that our clients kept coming back because we gave them excellent quality um, product at uh, a reasonable price. So I've kind of got quality uh, burned into my, uh, into my personality, I guess you would say. Uh, so when I create a video, I like it to be as good as I can make it. And for those of you who keep up with my videos, you are probably probably aware that my old JVC Averio has pretty much bitten the dust. Um, it's been happening for a long time, which that was one of the reasons that I bought the Canon uh, 70D DSLR was because I knew that the JVC was on its last legs and going fast. So, um, but I kept using it as a backup camera, which um, it, it worked, you know, sporadically. Uh, it was, and it just kept getting worse and worse and worse. So it's at the point now where um, I don't trust it. I mean, if I videotape anything with it, I don't know what kind of quality I'm going to get or if I'm even going to get anything uh, that's usable because it's not only changing the light levels, now it's dropping frames. So um, I did a, a video recently using the iPhone and uh, I did a more in-depth test uh, a couple of days ago and I didn't even put that video on because it is so bad. Uh, the iPhone, uh, it has a moray pattern that shows up uh, all the time. It has terrible audio. Uh, you can barely hear it. And it has, has no image stabilization at all. So it's very jerky, very jumpy. So that's not going to work for me as a backup camera. So I've been doing some research and I'm, I'm kind of honing in on the Canon uh, R series products and I'm looking at uh, one of the like the R700, the R70, R72, etc. They're very reasonably priced uh, so that would be uh, a good option for me I think as a backup camera because I need something to hook on to my car mount which I don't trust the mount to hold the 70D because it's quite heavy. Uh, so. I'm looking at a couple of a couple of uh, different ones to find the one that will work the best at the best price. So stay tuned and uh, I will keep you informed on what I get. And I am filming this uh, tonight to check the low light quality on a 70D with the 50 millimeter lens. I, the only thing I have in here is a 60 watt bulb that's sitting about four feet from me with no overhead light. It's nighttime. Uh, so that's the only light source uh, in the room. So I'm just going, I wanted to see how that would come out. So I think that's it for now. Until I speak with you again and even after that, I appreciate you. I appreciate you watching my videos. I appreciate that thumbs, thumbs up button that a lot of you give me. I appreciate you sharing my videos. And I appreciate you being a subscriber. So, as I was saying, until I speak with you again and even after that, you stay fabulous.